If you're out and about looking for a great place to go and catch a feed of whiting, Moreton Bay is one of the best spots in South East Queensland. The foreshores that rim Moreton Bay, like around Cleveland, Wynnum, Recliffe Peninsula, right up to Bribie are all great spots where you can take your kids and grab a packet of worms and go and get a feed. fishing with Tony from JML in Moreton Bay. Moreton Bay is usually associated with your snapper, reef fish, pelagic type species, but today we're actually targeting your bread and butter species, which are your whiting. We're fishing super shallow, like at the moment we're only in 3.7 metres, we'll drift back into about two metres of water. And most of Moreton Bay is an extensive sand flats, exactly the same grounds as we're fishing. And what we're doing, we're just slowly drifting along keeping our baits moving at all times. I don't like to actually anchor when we're whiting fishing. There we go, there's the little fellas that we're chasing. This is only a small one for Moreton Bay, but it's the species we want. Little diver whiting. There's actually a few different species of whiting that live in the bay. Diver whiting being one of them, sand whiting, um, and your little rock whiting. So, but today we're chasing your diver whiting, which are the most prolific species and the easiest to catch. Bit of weight. Ooh. Yep, these are the warding that we've come out here to get. Like they're, they're actually quite a big size for a diver whiting, but if you keep them over 20 centimetres, they're really good to eat. Um, a lot of people know these as winter whiting up here in Queensland, in Moreton Bay, but in actual fact, we're in the middle of summer now. It's 30 degrees and we're still catching them. You catch them all year round. As long as you target the shallow water, we're, at, we're actually fishing out on a massive sand flat out in front of Amity Point. And any time of the year, you can come out here and fish these shallow flats. Um, using a variety of baits and you'll catch these fish. The sort of gear we use out in Moreton Bay for this whiting fishing is, it's pretty basic stuff. Like you can use any sort of rod or reel you actually like. What I personally prefer is a six to seven foot rod that's two to four kilo, very soft in the tip. So this, these are your standard rods we're using, six to seven foot, very soft in the tip, so the little light bites are easily absorbed. I'm running six pound braid on this at the moment, down to a eight to 10 pound litre. It's pretty simple pan and Oscar rig. So I've got two hooks with some beads, a little coloured sinker. There's a couple of different um, setups we're actually using today. The first being rig that we get from Japan. They come pre-rigged with size 10 whiting hooks and it's very basic. You take it out of your packet, it's already attached to your sinker. Your sinker sits on the bottom like slow. It actually suspends your bait into the current so your sinking's dragging along the bottom. Your two baits are suspending behind and it's a very, very natural looking presentation. We'll use, quite often we use different colour sinkers, like this is a red one, I fish fluoro orange, red, fluoro green, so I fish a variety of different sinkers and different weights depending on what depth of water. Um, if you don't want to use a standard pre-bought rig, you can make up your own Pananoska style rigs like this one, this is just a simple homemade rig, sinker attached to the bottom, two droppers with some crystal beads, size six or eight just do a swivel. About 40 centimetres long, sinker bounces along the bottom, your baits are suspended off the bottom. Quite often this is a very, very good rig to use when you're drifting over weed, so your sinker's in the weed and your hook, your baits are just a, along the top of it where the fish are feeding, but very easy to use. Okay, you've 
seen us catch a lot of fish today and most of you will be thinking that we've been using real worms as bait, but in actual fact, we're using an artificial worm from Maracu. These worms have been designed for whiting, especially for whiting. They're 100% synthetic biodegradable bait and there's nothing that has been put into this product that's actually sourced from the ocean. Everything's sourced from the land, so they're environmentally friendly and very good product. How we actually use them, they come in two different sizes in Australia. You've got an extra large and a large. So one's quite big, one's a tad smaller. And all we do is take them out of the pack and cut them up like you would your normal bait. So just cut them into pieces. So the extra large, I'll cut it into three or four pieces. The standard large size, same thing, just cut it into pieces. Once you've cut them up, I always return it back into the juice so they stay hydrated but you fish them exactly how you'd fish a normal bait. And all we do is, like you would with a normal worm, feed it down the middle, keep feeding until your hook comes out the opposite side, and there we go. Bait's ready to use. Same thing with the smaller worm. It's definitely not as fat, so I've got just a standard piece. Same thing, feed it on like you would a normal bait. Good run. Yeah, they fight well for such a small fish. But that's a, that's your typical scenario. So I've just caught a whiting and the bait's still in its mouth. With a, your standard bait, usually that'd flick off on the way in. So I can take the fish off, just reinsert and it's ready to go again. Bay. It's a place that I've fished for 40 years now since I've grown up. Um, I've seen some big changes to this place, but the beauty of it is you can come out here any day of the week and still catch fish. These days, most of my fishing's done with my family, so I've got the young kids out here chasing whiting. I've gone away from the whole sports fish side of things where, you know, for 10, 20 years I've been using lures and fly and all sorts of things like that. Now I've got the little rug rats, we're coming out here catching a heap of whiting, they're always catching fish, they're always keeping active and yeah, this place is just a beautiful place to come any day of the week. To keep up to date with everything the Fishing Show crew is up to, including our latest competitions and prize giveaways, head over to our Facebook page, AFN The Fishing Show. And if you're keen for content, AFN TV is now free to join with over a thousand videos at your fingertips, plus tip and tactics from Bill and myself.